WFBI, New York City. Hello, you crazy cats out there. This is the Wolfman Jacks talking to you from 1951. Now, a word from our sponsor, the loveliest cigarette company we've ever had. It's... What kind of cigarette is it? Oh, yeah. <coughs> it's a cigarette I use every day, baby. And after this moment from our sponsor, we'll play some jams for you, baby. Because we know what you like. Yes, for those young people who love your internet and love your cigarettes, we now present Lucky Str Lucky, what, what was it, Chris? Lucky Hit. Lucky Hit Cigarettes. For your tobacco needs. And while we mean tobacco, we mean your unimit death. Yes, kids, you can die at the age of 15. You too can die. Just hear our great co composers and people that have talked to us. <coughs> and of the umbrella. <coughs> Another lovely yes. customer. Yes, you too can die from lung cancer and many other cancers if you try our product. Yippee. Yes. Yay, cancer! <laughs> Yay! Now you too can have cancer in the most quickest way possible and die as quickly as possible with new... Say it, Chris. Dying tickles. Yes! You too can die in an easeful freeway with Lucky Hit Cigarettes. Listen to the second part of the weirdest podcast in all of existence of time and space, baby. That man just made that man just made who's the plan where everything goes wrong. Back with the podcast. Say hello, everybody. He's the plan. He knows what to do. Now, uh, should we actually talk about the comic? I don't know. Mantis, 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 Mantis. We can't really say much, but we can say that it's going to be good. Yes, it's set in a parallel universe where England owns everything, and the main characters are involved with superhero powers and stuff. Yeah, right Right now we're uh, tackling different subjects. We're trying to get them to one place to another. It's, yep. We have great things. We have the first season already opt out. Yep. So now... So... You know, we have everything set. Yep. Yep. And that's about it with the comic. Going back to weird shit that we think is uh, adorable or crazy. Guy with gun. Guy with gun. Na 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 Guy with gun. Hello, yes. My name is Paladin. There's a new dimension of light and sound, known as the Elemental Zone. The scary guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what the scary guy is. Success! This is the scary guy. Success! Can, can we actually use stuff that Simpsons already used? Yeah, it's already in public domain, dude. Because ev everyone knows that Simpsons did everything. Yeah, exactly. At this point, there's no reason. <laughs> Come on, Fox. Come on, Fox, sue us. We have no money. Go ahead. Try. <laughs> we would love you to sue us. We would actually get gain some money. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. Okay. Is there any other issues we should tackle for tonight, or I think we're good? How long's the podcast? Oh, I don't know. Thirty-six minutes, thirty-seven minutes, depending on how long we talk. This is all being recorded, by the way. Yep. Yeah, by the way, whatever you're seeing right now is being recorded, so, yeah. Yep. 
So as this has been the Mandus and Troy and Friends podcast, also Benny, uh, if you have any comments or questions, please let us know on, on the lower part of the doobly-doo. Uh, any last yeah, passing... Have... Yes, yes, we, we have a doobly-doo. Uh, any passing remarks or questions or anything that you guys would like to add to the podcast before we end it? Is there Skittles in the doobly-doo? Yes, there are skittle, Skittles in the doobly-doo. Awesome! Any... I want the doobly-doo. Yes. I want to eat it. Yeah, I want to take you, you, you can eat it because it's theoretical. And Chris, any fi- any any final remarks, uh, Christopher? Persons. Uh, I guess it's uh, it, first it's shish kebab and then kebab and then just bob. So why don't we just call it shish kebab to kebab the bob? Oh, 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 okay. Hello, crazy people, <laughs> and uh, yes, this is the end of the podcast. If you enjoyed what you'd like to hear. Flipping over to side two, baby, for the rest of the conversation about the film Frozen. Yes, ladies and gents, we're talking about a film that technically has nothing to do with the 1950s or sound of any um, genre. And this podcast will be traveling backwards in time in three, two. Get the reason two. why they locked her away. It's retarded. Yep. All right? It's very retarded because... The- uh, guess Gnome Golnome King was like, look, look, logic, show her love, make her not afraid of her powers, heads, okay, let's knock her away. For a very, very uh, long time. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's frozen. It, it, it makes sense. It, it, it totally makes sense. No, not really. No, I mean, if, if Frozen wasn't a musical, because all the people are globbing onto, especially the fans of Frozen, are kind of tripping on all the songs and, and the weird snow character that kind of reminds me of Jar Jar Binks. Okay? <laughs> he is. He's essentially a snow version of Jar Jar Binks. He's stupid, uh, uh, he makes really bad remarks, and he's kind of racist, okay? Alright. Be honest with yourselves, okay? Um, I, I don't know. When his butt was flying down... Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Hello. Watch my butt. Yeah. And then the whole thing with, like, him technically being alive, but also being dead. So, like, if another piece of snow flew into him, he's fine. Eh? Yes. Well, no, he was if, so dying. If, if, if they lock uh, Elsa in, in her room her entire life, and then she, she's trying to deal with her powers, she's killing everyone. It's like no wonder, like you have to let her out of her room and like, you know, learn from her powers. But well, you see, they was gonna actually cast um, Elsa as a villain. Right. Yeah, that that that's that's the original book. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, like her going out evil and going, people, they don't understand me. They all need to suffer the everything what I've been through. I'm like. Yes! Wait, what? What do you mean, Betty? Yeah. What's going on? And there's a lot of rewrites in Frozen. I mean, like, it's 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 wrong because they, that entire village, city, island ostracized her the yep. moment they found out that she was different. And her younger yep. sister made it worse. Yep. So if Frozen wasn't a musical, it'd be a very, very depressing narrative. Exactly. Just like uh, The Little Mermaid, mm-hmm. The Honest, mm-hmm. Cinderella. This is true. This Cinderella is actually had an okay ending, though, in my opinion. Cinderella was kind of a Disney movie where the plot was just like, okay. Frozen 2 is going to be uh, a bigger success, though. It's it's not going to be like a uh, direct, direct to, to DVD. No, it's Disney. It'll be direct to DVD and no one will care. <laughs> they are making a sequel, but I don't know. They what are. They be. are. Doug Walker, who um, runs into some of credit, is owned by Disney, and he knows they're going to make a Frozen tour. We know this. Oh, my. Well, why, why wouldn't they? It's hugely successful. Like, it's, it's a dumb idea not to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Their new next song... Kind of let it go. Maybe next year. I'm not really sure when exactly. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I 
I just realized something. Mm -hmm. For the first time, I pronounced Maleficent. Oh, it's Maleficent's true. actually a decent play. It's very good on Broadway. I, for the first time ever, right now, I was capable of pronouncing her name. Yep. I always pronounce like Maleficent. Maleficent. I'm like, how do you Maleficent? Malevolent? She's Ew. the dragon lady. That's all she really is. But, I mean, no, no, no. I, I kind of like the story yeah. about her. No, that no, that's actually movie, very good. Well written. That's actually very good. Well, it played from her point of view. She was not an evil, evil person. It's just mortals being mortals and yeah. learning to not understand their place and stop messing with things they don't understand. Exactly. Yeah. All they had to do was just leave her alone, let her live away, and not be a douche. <laughs> but they did it anyway. But they had to prove something. It's like, something has more power than me. I have testicles. I must prove my manliness. Oh, like Gaston. Shit. Like, in Beauty and the Beast, Gaston was pretty much the embodiment of any freaking male hero archetype in a Disney movie. But Gaston was also an idiot. Yeah, but that's basically the male subtype for most Disney films. I'm a giant idiot. And I have to save the girl no matter what, even if she doesn't even like me. I have to save the girl who doesn't like me. <laughs> but then I'll prove my loyalty and then she'll totally like me about it for about an hour until she gave up and finds another dude. What, what, what play did you guys watch? <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean... Um, oh, wait, have you ever watched Once Upon a Time? Wait, uh, yeah. was that the horrible thing, the live-action thing? Yeah. Did you just say horrible? I said horrible. No, it's, it's a great show. It's, it's, it, it's, it's an amazing show. Yeah. Oh. You watch it. Fine. Don't make any biased opinions about it. Fine. Because i to where you stay, and I will slap the white off you. I, I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> it's possible. I will slap the way off you. That, then, like, am I not allowed... Be, what, oh, okay. You Can, will be better than Michael Jackson. Oh. You will be clear. Wait, no, no, no. I'll be reverse of Michael Jackson because I'm already white, so wouldn't I be black then? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really... Like, so hard, you will be darker than Michael Jackson. Then fine. Before the operation. Okay, <laughs> that, that's cool. I'd like to have an afro, honestly. Back to Maleficent or Frozen or whatever we're talking about. I don't even know anymore. I thought we were talking about Beauty and the Beast. No, we were talking about... We were talking about Frozen. Oh, right, yeah. Frozen. And then, and then it went over yeah. to Beauty and the Beast. And then it went over to me, like, you know, like, going over Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. But yeah. Back, to, back to Frozen. Back to Frozen for a minute. Um, okay. Musical numbers are actually quite good, especially the Japanese version. Like, I actually love the Japanese version of Frozen. I don't know why, it's just awesome. No. Why not the Japanese version? The Japanese version's awesome. Back with the Wolfman. Now, ooh, yeah, baby. Now, to deal with some proper jams for the midnight hour. For you night babies, a little bit of love. <laughs>
well, what do you think this is a gang thing? Are, are you are you writing a book? Shoot low, man. Shoot low. Hey, man, look at that sex pot over there. What? She sex pot. Oh, <laughs> baby, baby, it's snowing down south for her, ain't it? <laughs> In the 50s, hipster meant uh, a very cool person. And now, yep. up to date and informed. Yep. <laughs> up to date, hipsters just mean, oh dear God, why? <laughs> no, back in the day, though, hipsters were actually college kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're actually cool. They're, they're yeah. hipsters. Hey, hey, oh, yeah. hey, 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 Chris. I'm scheming a score, baby. <laughs> oh, what a track. Scarf it all down and pound it with some muscle. Uh, now, now, uh, now, now, Chris, you have to understand, me and my girl are on the make. Meaning, someone who just broke up with her study was looking very hard for a new broad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm looking for one. Uh, <laughs> hey, 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 buddy, we're, we're swapping sp Bit with me and my girl here. Meaning making out. Oh my god, bonafide. Yes! Bonafide? Bonafide, legit. Bonafide is, yeah, bonafide's old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, this is some bonafide, good old fashioned. In the, in the, in, in the fifties, Mickey Mouse meant dumb. Really? Nice. Yeah. Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to type you know you know Mickey ones. and I can't find it. Oh no, I'm, I'm on a, I'm on a different list. Oh, screw you, man! <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm on your list, okay? Wait, what list were you on? Uh, it was a PDF. Oh. Get, link the PDF, dude. Do it. Come on, it's just yeah. all unreal, man. And besides, she's re she's just tight with us. You know what I mean? She also got stacked. No, no, no. Just but stacked. tight in the fifties though means good friends. It doesn't mean what you thought it meant. Stacked means large friends. Oh hell yeah. Stacked. Oh yeah. yeah stacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Large stacked, baby. Friends. She's fully stacked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, 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 this is this, this has been the <laughs> the meeting of the uh, the Mantis and Troy podcast. If you like what you've heard, check out the actual comic book we're actually trying to advertise for. Yeah, it's a, a great comic. Uh, this is uh, our uh, first podcast for uh, many to come, so. Yep. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the awesomeness. Yep. So. Hey, would you just yep? Yep. So, what, what's buzzing, cousin? You're uh, just an actor <laughs> that's av agitating the gravel, man. Uh, uh what a uh, what a ute! In a bite that my babe is backseating a bingo. Uh, uh, everything just got heavy. Whoa, that's heavy. <laughs> Very. You you know what, man? Apple butter, your big daddy, man. What apple butter? Apple butter means a smooth talker fluttery. And Big Daddy means an older person. What's the deal, Daddy O? You know what yeah. I heard my baby say to me? She said she backed seat bingo with another man. Do you believe that? Not what I heard. I heard she's knocked up. Nah, nah. She's just off for a blast, man. 
freaking blast. You know what I mean, Daddy O? <laughs> <laughs> one, two. I'm sorry, one, two. <laughs> I shut my foot right up your wazoo. Hey, hey, you got a. You looking for a bruising for a losing? Uh, uh, nah, nah, you looking for a knuckle sandwich? Nah, nah, I'm looking for a snake, let's rattle. Uh, yeah. By the way, Clyde. Hey, Clyde, also known as Chris. You, you understand that I'm committed, you know. You know, I'm... I didn't hear that. No, 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 man. You are Clyde, man. You are Clyde, right? And I'm committed, right? You got that, right? Uh, yeah. We're back from listening to very strange music from a dino area, which is not the 1950s or 60s. It's probably from the 40s. What'd you think about that, Chris? Uh, uh, the, I love the music. Swing is very cool. Yeah, but it's a long time period, man. Anyway, you're being a bit of a germ that got bent and didn't get get it with it, you know? You didn't get got it. Well, ain't that a bite. Well, give me a bell, then. And give me high five. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh wait! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, listen, listen, Chris. Don't go ape. Don't go pink. Just be a goof. Uh. <laughs> Meaning, don't explode or get angry. Go for pink means a drag race where there are cars, pink slip, hot rodders, and goof. Someone who makes mistakes or to make mistakes, like Goofy. Get with cars. it, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not supposed to be in here. <laughs> Greek. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, girl, what's your handle? Can we just hang out? Oh shit, it's the heat. Now, Chris. Jesus, the fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be beans. <laughs> hey, girl, I'll clue you in. I'll ice it, I'll put you in orbit, and you'll be around my banister, you know what I'm saying? Uh. <laughs> It's no. <laughs> <laughs> that was my answer to that one. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen to this one. What? This jet of a man, this John Doe, is a bit of a jelly roll. Mm, donuts. No way. <laughs> Meaning, jet yeah. means smart. John Doe is a boy involved in a blind date. And Jelly Girl is a man's haircut called up from the both sides, brought together in the middle of the forehead. Yep. Thank you for that image. Yep. So, Thank a you. smart, brainy guy in, is involved in a blind date, and he's a horrible haircut. Mm. Alright. Really? Candy ass is still the same. Yep. Candy ass is always universal, man. You can go up to the 1910s and it's still candy ass. Yep. Yep. Goddamn candy ass. Now, girl, you got that lid that has a bit of a lighter. Well, it has a light up tilt sign. And that's just crazy. <laughs> Meaning, lighter is a crew cut. Lighting on the tilt sign means not telling the truth, and like crazy means really good. Far out, man. Wrong time period, right. Chris. Nope, it's it's on the list. Why ah! is it on the fucking list? It's on the list. Ah, fuck you. 
All right. Uh, He's a low, bad. lumpy machine, man. He makes and guess, out. And guess what? Hmm? Boss is actually a term in the fifties too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Meaning so like. Cool. Oh, okay. That that dude's boss. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Hear me out. He's a low, lumpy machine. That's just a Mickey Mouse who's really a, a mirror warmer. Do with that. Meaning he's depressed, mediocre, a car, and dumb with a piece of pastel fabric on top of him. Now, moldy means a bad teacher, so I could that could be used in so many ways. Yeah. Uh, nerd, same deal. Oddball, same. Office is stupid. Bye, my weenie. Candy ass meant a whim. Yep. Yep. It always means a whim. Even travel back in time with Doctor Who and you can freaking still say candy ass and people will know what you mean. Yep. Ancient Egypt, he's a candy ass. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Play dead means to keep quiet. Speaking of, yep. outside there's a bit of a hot rod. Put your egg in your shoe and beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Put an egg in your shoe and beat it. Have a nice dinner, have a nice... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, Queen's a popular girl. Oh, oh, dude, hear me out. M my girl... She's radioactive. She's a queen to quote, and she raps on anybody who squeals. Really? Yeah. Translation, please. Sure. Uh, my baby is a woman. She's a popular one. She's radioactive, which means very popular. And a rap means a tattle on somebody. Wait, hold on. Wait, up, uh, up. Uh. Oh, we're back. Are, are we back, guys? Are, are we back? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, we are yes. back. Yes. And I can see you. Hello, Aria. Hello, person I actually can see. So. Yes. So, uh, where were we, Chris? What was your last thing that you just said? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I came in to... What? Hello. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait. Hello! Hello! <laughs> My gay pillow. Look at it. It's so... It's mm. fluffy! I want to be Daddy and so fluffy! Oh my god, it's so fluffy! Oh, wait, one more time, do it. Right. Is this a it's... bug or... <laughs> What's no. going on? I, I, we're Look looking at, at a pillow. pillow. If you just joined us, we're looking at a small pillow that's apparently different colors on it. It's not a small pillow. It's a fairly large pillow. It's a large pillow. That's and what she so said. <laughs> that, that should be a part of the slang. Look yep. at my pillow. Look well, how well, there is a bit of a sex pop, but I don't know about pillows yet. I don't know if pillows are colloquialism yet. Hold on, now, let me check. P is in pillow. P, 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 P. Elemental P. Pad, pale one, panic and a half, pepper shaker, party pooper, passion pit, peppers, hull up Z's, pig out of jail, play dead, pooper, plop the clutch, pound, proof, punch it, punk. Punk's a thing? Okay, that's interesting. Punk? Yeah. Punk is a weaseless or useless person. Um, huh. no pillows. No pillows in the 1950s. I don't know what you would say for boobs, then. Uh, pillows? Yeah, but it's not on the list. Pillows are pillows. Well, th 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 thanks to the Ramones, punk wasn't like that, so... <laughs> yeah, but in the 50s it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Now I gotta look it up. 50s terms for breasts. Boobs, melons, rack, um, to the internet, bada 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 internet, 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 
Searching for boobs. <laughs> References. In the 50s. In the 50s. Well, actually, Batman hasn't come out yet, so instead it would be, have, have internet, we'll travel. <laughs> yes, young friends, it's another long adventure of the Internet Hour! Yay! Now starring Hank Johnston as the guy who goes to the internet! Yes. I have one path and one path only to look around the age of the internet! <laughs> have internet, we'll travel! Oh, here we are, 1950s. Uh, they were known as Bebops. Bebops! Look at those Bebops. Look at those Bebops. Look at those Bebops. Look at those Bebops. And they're okay. Your mom Bebops was amazing. You know it, girl. Five and two men drunk driving. Ooh. <laughs> 502, 502, I'm not drunk, officer. I was not going past the speed limit. I was... Wait, was that like something the cops said, or did people actually say 502? 502? 502 is actually a real code, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. For, that, that everyone said? For no, yeah. it was only for, for truck drivers and policemen nowadays, but back in the day, you used to use it like, you know, proper lingo. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I get it. Um, also, the word cans for boobs also works in the 50s. Ah. Can or cans? Yeah. Can you can, can, you can, can those cans? But, yeah. Wow. Say that five times. Here's a weird one from the 20s. Ear boob. What the hell? It's from the 20s. Don't judge me. Ear boobs. Yep. It's a thing. Why am I picturing boobs on your ears? No, it's a boob often hanging happens during a hug between the person and standing female. Popularized uh, recently in the year in the year two thousand nine. Like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hanging in my hot rod like a boss. I was going like a sex pot, like a boss. I was on my in the hood like a boss. I was on my top of my paper shaker and she was like what? I was avoiding my alimony. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. They said like a boss. Yes, they did. Perfect. Kind yeah, of. Like I didn't good. say it like a boss. It'd be you're such a boss. Yeah. I was on top of my paper shaker like a what well, fuck. It wouldn't be like a boss. It would be you're a boss. I'm a boss. You're the boss. It, it, You're boss, I'm boss, he's boss. That's it, boss. Is, is like a boss still a term in 2015? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's 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 actually a music Good video, song. dude. Where have you been? Uh, There's an entire music video called Like a Boss. Like, uh, I jumped like, over a train like a boss. Is it, is it new? I come, I, yeah, it's fucking oh. from Lonely Island, dude. Oh. Our podcast is brought to you by Lonely Island. Check it out on DVD. <laughs> hey, look, I'm like a boss. Yep. And also, like a boss, Lonely Island. Yep. Like a boss, t-shirt. Yep. Like a boss, gifts. Like, like the boss, a boss, flamethrower. Oh, look, like a boss, me. Yep. <laughs> also brought to you by any other company that feels like sponsoring us. Hey, people. Like a boss. You could sponsor us if you really felt like it, but you don't have to. Well, you could do it like a boss. Right. Yeah. And then you could be a shock sex pot pepper shaker living on the mean streets with her old man. By the way, pepper shaker actually means cheerleader. Just for we you to know. Made, we, were, we were made in the shade. You are the maid with your shade with your old lady and your old man. They kiss up to your 
your kiss up, meaning your teach your teacher's pet. Oh, yeah, 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 that's cool. Oh, listen to this. Okay, okay, good. Now, now listen to me clearly, my fellow friends. <laughs> Yep. She was a fox flake who was down with the fuzz and she was a kiss up to her old man. But she was a pepper shaker and a sex spot, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, get off my book. Uh, Mr. Fox flake. Oh, are you feeling like a typewriter, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Right there. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like a, a, a uh, what was it? Uh, a defective typewriter. Yeah, I feel like a defective typewriter. <laughs> Man, that, that is a gasping moment right there. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, listen okay. to this. A pa oh, you tripped on panty waist. What else? What, well, let's see some other words. How about, um, I got. I got proof that I got pounded and I had to punch it to a punk. And then I got put down. How about that back, backseat bingo? Oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, some backseat bingo. Uh, Did you get it on? Did you get it on? Backseat bingo. <laughs> they had a, a Madison Avenue makeout. Do you know what that's Madison that's Avenue that's mean back in the day? Uh, what's that? Madison Avenue means sharp or cunning. So you could have a a machine Madison makeout. No, a machine Ma Madison Avenue makeout. That was to you made the scene and you made your mark on your on your honey. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ticket. Uh, I think so. Wait, the last part was in the 50s. Never mind. Let me try that again. <laughs> so, listen. Listen, li listen boys. Listen, listen, gather up. Gather up. Now, you, you know uh, me and my baby, right? Well, we were at yeah. my machine. And we did a little bit of uh, Madison Avenue makeout. You know. Made a bit of a mark, you know. No Mickey Mouse in around, you know. <laughs> Uh, Mickey Mouse. Meaning a dumb person. Yeah. <laughs> now, I wonder what Donald Duck meant back then. And you, you, you killed it. What? <laughs> you're just... You're just a... You're just like crazy, man. It's kooky. <laughs> you're a... A lid lighter. That's a Leon. Oh my goodness. Hey, hey, hey. Lay dead. Hey, lay dead for a minute, alright? <laughs> now. Uh, now, honey child, you gotta understand. You got a large charge. Large charge means something that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, God. Yeah. A uh, hound is a bus. A hottie is a fast car, not a hot girl. Uh, yeah. We, we should get a duck butt. What's a duck <laughs> butt, dude? Yeah. A uh, hairstyle of greasers. Where really? Where hair and back is combed to the middle, with the end of comb makes a middle part. Oh, yeah, here we are, duck butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, Really now you know. <laughs> oh look, weed. Oh, That's weed's cigarette. a thing in the fifties. Cigarette. I figured as much. <laughs> now, Chris, you're a scooch of mine. Understand? A scooch. Uh... Scooch means a friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now. Oh. Oh, there it is, Scooch. Hey, I found it. Hey, Scooch, <laughs> listen up. My hot rod got shut down, you understand? It got shucked and slided. It just skinnied all up, and I slipped up. Understand? Uh, 
<laughs> now my friend has this hot rod and it broke down. And the Zoros. Right, right. It broke without any money. And then slip me means forgive me. Oh. Hey, 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 Scooch. Smog in the noggin. You understand? <laughs> yeah. I just lost my memory, you know? Yeah. Oh, by the way, one's girlfriend's referred to as a Sophie. Anybody's girlfriend is considered Sophie. Sophie. Whatever who her actual name is, if you forget, just say Sophie. In the 1950s, it was fine. What was her name? Sophie. Sophie was her name. No, no, no. What like, it's that? not actually person. A name. No, yeah. It's like, it would be more like, like, hey, Chris, I heard about your Sophie. She okay? Oh. She okay? Oh. I heard about your Sophie getting banged up last night. What happened? Well, she is quite a dolly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, sure to split, man. I knew you guys were making out. Uh, <laughs> do backs. Come on, you gotta stack up and storm the machine. Uh, uh, oh my uh, uh, fuzzy duck. <laughs> You're such a subterranean straight man, right? <laughs> Meaning a uh, hipster that's reliable. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all hipsters. Well, yeah, <laughs> in the 50 cents. <laughs> we're all hipsters. Hey, hey, Chris, your mom drives around a tank, man. And the man were on her heels, you know? <laughs> Uh, oh, get, give yeah. me some skin. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Scooch, we're tight, right? Uh, uh, can't, okay, uh, do, uh, do backs. What does that even mean, man? Uh, a pack of cigarettes. Why do you want one of those? I don't know. <laughs> they used to smoke a lot. Apparently. Yeah. Eh, some people still smoke now. All right, so, listen to this. My hot rod was wailing, right? And then the warden just told the, just told the, the heat, you know? And I was just like, what's buzzing, man, cousin? The, the ankle biter. <laughs> you make the king's jive. Meaning your English is very good. You don't have any spelling mistakes. Congratulations. You're, you make the king jive. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a, a big tickle. What does that <laughs> even mean? Um, it's really funny. Okay. Way out, man. Way out. Big tickle. Uh, far out. You, you know, they should make a movie called The Big Tickle. They should. <laughs> Attack of the Giant Tickle. <laughs> as long as it's not tentacles. Oh, oh, there'll be tentacles. God damn it. There's always tentacles. It'd be a 50s this, movie. This, this podcast is a bash. It means a great party. Oh, Sweet. is it? Okay. <laughs> now, now, pink. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, 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 uh, Aria. I got, I got to tell you something, um, baby doll. Your uh, pinky's out of jail. Uh, mean, uh, means your slip is showing. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got I got nothing on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! Oh snap! Oh, let me show. Let me fix that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and, and cookie means nuts in the nicest possible way. Uh, cookie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cookie cat. He's the coolest.